When you administer any vaccine, you should always tell the vaccine recipient or caregiver what types of reactions they may experience afterward and what to do if that happens. When a person experiences more serious reactions to a vaccination, they may return to you for treatment. After you have attended to the patient, it is important to report the event. An adverse event following immunization, also referred to as an AEFI, is defined as any untoward medical occurrence that follows immunization and which does not necessarily have a causal relationship with the usage of the vaccine. While immunization is very safe overall, no vaccine is perfect and it is impossible to predict all reactions. And many reactions may not be related to the vaccine at all. AEFI surveillance helps a program identify, understand, and communicate issues to prevent future problems. In this video, we will review how to detect potential AEFIs, collect information about them, and then report them appropriately. How do you detect an adverse reaction? Here is a list of possible adverse events. Remember, an AEFI would be any untoward or unpleasant reaction following immunization, even if you suspect it is unrelated to the vaccine. AEFIs need to be reported individually and tallied for the monthly summary report. Your national guidelines should include a list of possible AEFIs that must be reported and investigated. Keep in mind that AEFIs are grouped into five categories. Adverse events may be related to the properties of vaccine product itself, a quality defect of the vaccine product or the administration device, an immunization error caused by inappropriate handling, prescribing, or administration of the vaccine, and anxiety about the vaccine. Some events are coincidental and not actually related to the vaccination. You do not need to categorize an AEFI. This is done after an investigation based on your report. Whatever you suspect the reason for an AEFI, you should never hesitate to report it. Next, collect information in a detailed report. This will help aid the investigation of an adverse event. Be sure to include the following information at a minimum as shown on the sample form. An AEFI reporting identification number. The number used on this form is not linked to the immunization register or the line list in any way. The same number should be used for follow-up visits of the same case. Information about the patient, caregiver and the reporter of the adverse event. In many cases, the caregiver is the reporter. Details of all vaccines given to this patient. Start with the brand name of the vaccine, including the name of manufacturer. Be sure to include information about date and time of vaccination, dose of the vaccine given, and information about any diluents used, including generic and brand name. For each vaccine received, write its expiry date and the batch or lot number. Thoroughly describe the AEFI itself including the symptoms, date and time of onset of AEFI, and outcome, as described by the caregiver or reporter. Also ask for any relevant past medical history, such as previous reactions, medications, and other related cases. You do not need to list any medications that were given to treat the reaction. After you record this information, send it to the person with the responsibility to follow up these cases. Some AEFIs will also need to be reported immediately by telephone to a manager who has the responsibility to investigate them. Which AEFIs should be reported immediately? Your national authorities should give you a list of suspected AEFIs that fall into this category. In general, you should always immediately report serious AEFIs 
meaning the ones that are life-threatening or that result in hospitalization, disability, or death. You should also immediately report events associated with a newly introduced vaccine, AEFIs that may have been caused by an immunization error, and events that cause significant parental or community concern. You should also report any swelling, redness, soreness at the injection site if it lasts for more than three days or swelling extends beyond the nearest joint. And finally, report any significant events of unexplained cause occurring within 30 days after vaccination. At the end of the month, tally all AEFIs in your monthly summary report. This report includes a section for the total number of serious and non-serious events during the month. National authorities should provide guidance on which events should be included in each category. By detecting, collecting information about, and reporting AFIs, you can do your part to prevent future problems and maintain the trust of the communities where you work.